Ritual Beast, ABC, and Phantom Knights coming out of the Remote Duel events this past weekend. Don't be like one of the 37.6% of you that have not smashed love and crap on that subscribe button. We're under 100 away from 96,000. Oh, we are trucking along. So the first list I have up here is from one of the extravaganza qualifiers. And yes, this is freaking A. B, C. When was the last time that you saw ABC functionally do anything? I'll wait for it. It's been a hot second. After all the recent ban list and things that have pretty much tore this deck apart, finally, Jet out here, locking down a nice first place finish out of this out of New Zealand. So we have triple copies of ASL Core, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of B Buster Drake. And then triple copies of the Sea Crush Wyvern. Then we have, of course, Triple Galaxy Soldier, Triple Gamma, two copies of Union Driver, Vroom Vroom, and one Super Brick. And then we have one Call by the Grave, Triple Copies of Pot of Desires, one Terraforming, Triple Copies of the Unauthorized Reactivation, Triple Copies of Union Hanger, one Upstar Goblin, then we have one Imperial Order, and one Skill Drain. How many, how many times can you open up the best card in your deck right here? All right, technically, Seeing this come up, you just laugh at your opponent because, you know, just chain the Dragon Buster effect and then go ahead and split yourself apart. <laughs> I resolve not on the field anymore. Yeah, that's uh, that's one little fun thing you can do. We have Triple Slalom Striking. We have Triple Copies of Torrential Tribute here. Down here in the extra deck, we have Unchained Abomination, one Platinum Gadget, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Copy of Cross Sheep, one Clara and Rushka, one Boral Sword with one Barricade Borg Blocker, one copy of Emerald, one copy of Nova with one Infinity, one Omega, and we have triple copies of the B, A, C, Dragon Turd. Side deck here, we have two Lancia, one Pankertops, triple Phantasme, two Gamma Seal, triple copies of Nibiru, two Cosmic Cyclone, one Dark Hole, and one copy of Raigeki here. Wrapping up ABC, technically, if you look at this deck, uh, this is very budget, because we're playing the Boral Sword over the Axis Code Talker, which actually works out. Looking at this, like the most expensive cards in your deck are going to be Galaxy Soldiers, honestly, and like Hand Traps, but I mean, that's kind of be expected in modern era Yu-Gi-Oh! But looking at this from like a semi-budget, you know, place in the game, this is not too bad for modern era value. So maybe you just have to be a better player with ABC. Maybe you just have to have some better matchups. I'm not really too sure what to say there, but at the end of the day, this is definitely something that really caught my attention. So congrats, honestly, out here for smashing and showing the world that ABC is not a dead pile of cards because a lot of people it's like, oh, oh my God, ABC is dead. Uh, you know, like not really. All right, all things considered, it's still going. All right, next up here, we have Phantom Knights. This is actually what got second place at that event right underneath the ABC winning list here. So this is going to be basic Phantom Knight combo here. Uh, we are not playing any of the Infra Noble package here, but we are taking advantage of the Assault package here with the Warrior Toolbox. So typically if anything happens to the Warrior Toolbox side of this deck, it typically ends up, you know, not being a very fun time for Phantom Knight. So... We have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of the Butter Spy, one copy of Seer, one copy of Jackalope with the one Suchinoko, one copy of Graph, triple copies of Junk Forward, triple copies of Kage Musha Knight, triple copies of Neo Space Connector, one copy of Aqua, two Aqualad, three Aqualad, uh, uh, uh. And we have triple Psychic Wielder, one Takum Tumborg, one Terror Top, two copies of Ancient Cloak, one Ragged Gloves, two copies of Silent Boots, one Stained Greaves, Triple copies of Torn Scales, triple tour guide with one Dark Magician and one Red Eyes here, wrapping up the main deck. Down here in the spells, we have one Call by the Grave, one DDR, the one Phoenix Blade, the one E Telly, the one Living Fossil, the one Moon Mirror Shield, the one Red Eyes, the one Reinforcements, triple Eagle Booster. Oh my god. So we're adapting the concept that Jung Speeder and the Zeus Protect deck are doing. <sighs> Think about this. Okay, so you make your. He's sold. And then you sh it goes up in the EDM, nothing else. They try to do anything to it, which is the centerpiece of your combo. You Eagle Booster that bad boy. Wh what's your opponent going to do? <laughs> nothing. Because this card shuts them out. 
We have one Hornet Drones with one Engage, then we have one Imperial Order, triple copies of Fog Blade, the one Wings, and the one Shade Brigadine. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Underworld Closed Goddess, the one copy of Rusty, my Anaconda don't got no buns, hun, one Link Spider, the one Assault, the one Shirabini, the one Boral Sword, the one copy of Appalosa, the one Break Sword, the one Utopic Future, and the Utopic Future Draco, two Levier, one Zeus, and the one Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Side deck here, we have Triple Ancia. Triple Phantasma, Triple Twin Twister, Triple EEV, and Triple Copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up second place for you guys. I always, this is so interesting to me at the end of the day here, that more of these decks that revolve around like these sub-boss monsters, or sub-win condition boss monsters here, are actually turning to this. This is actually kind of innovative. I like this. Now, out of this weekend's Remote Dual Qualifier, Owen Wilson made it to the Grand Slam Finals. And this was posted by Tatsium here, and I figured we'd go ahead and cover it here because looking at how the next format is shaping up here and the recent burst of, you know, Altergeist that we've seen here kind of taking off here, it definitely goes to show that this deck should not be underestimated at any sort of capacity here. And uh, you know, as we head on into the next format here, this card right here, this is gonna be still a powerhouse, I think. So we have one copy of Kunguri, triple copies of Marionetter, triple copies of Melozik, triple copies of Multifaker, two copies of Siliguidos, and triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. The main monster lineup never really changes, honestly, at all. We have one duality. This is actually interesting. So past like turn one, this can conflict, depending on how things are going here. Uh, might come up that like, you know, you might need to do that special summon in order to link up, but honestly, turn one setting up getting an additional filter for options, this isn't bad, and especially as a one of you see it sometimes, but not all the time. And then we have triple copy spot of extravagance, and then we have one manifestation, two protocol, one IO, triple infinite permanence, the triple personal spoofing, two rivalry, triple copies of solemn judgment, triple solemn strike, and triple copies of torrential tribute here, wrapping up the main deck. Down here in the extract. We have one Wee Witch's Apprentice, two Selene, the one Relinquished Anima, one Ningrisu, two Link Kribo, one Nightmare Phoenix, the two Artemis, triple copies of Hexdia, and of course, the two Axis Kotaku. If you're looking at this deck and you're like, mmm, you want budget options, well, sometimes you have to play multiple of your win con because this dumb card can screw you up. Side deck here, we have one Pankertops, triple Effect Veiler, two Gamma Seal, two Ghost Bell, triple Seeker Village, one Terraforming, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. It's actually kind of cute because, you know, making use of four Secret Villages in your deck, like post siding, isn't bad. And the last list I have for you guys here is, this was from a third place out of a remote dual locals here. Oh man, this is Ritual Beast with a Dogmatica engine here. And I will say that, just kind of drawing some test hands with this, this deck is not too bad in the consistency department. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two Ecclesia, one copy of the Florida Lease, triple copies of Tamer Elder, two, uh, one copy of Lara, one copy of Wen, one Apelio, triple Conahawk, with the one copy of Petalfin, one copy of Rampengu, triple copies of Winda, with the one copy called by the Griff, triple Cosmic Cyclone, one Dimensional Fissure, the one Itelli, soon to be two Itellis. We have triple Nadir Servant, we have two, uh, one Punishment, one IO, two Ambush, two copies of Steeds, two Solemn Judgment, triple copies of Solemn Strike. Extra down here, we have one Almirage, the two Ulti Kuma Falcos, one Phoenix, the one Boral Sword, one Titan Clad, the two copies of the Super Big Megazord, triple copies of Ulti Canahawk, two Ulti Apelio, and two Anintis. Side deck here, we have triple copies of D-Shifter, one Pankratops, triple copies of Inspector Border, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one copy of Lightning Storm, two Anti-Spell Fragrance, one Macro Cosmo, and one copy of Mistake here, wrapping up the Ritual Beast combo, watch me step through all Tikana Hawk as much as I can, the deck. So, final thoughts on this weekend here. ABC and Phantom Knight, actually just seeing ABC is awesome. The Altergeist takeover that we've seen the last couple of weeks has been very interesting. Uh, I expect to probably see that, at least it's been the European side of the game that we've seen like the influx of this, but I think going forward here, especially with like the power down, Ultra Guys will probably maintain a very, very, very nice power hold on the modern era format. So guys, what do you think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, smash the love and credit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on content, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later today. Some more cool content. Peace out, guys. 
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardway Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.